Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. Uh, just about ready to head to bed, and we got an earthquake coming into the uh, chilly region. Rather strong one. 6.2 earthquake uh, showing up on these live seismograph stations there at the uh, Chile state, or the, uh, yeah, Chile station there in uh, South America. That's this uh, 6.2 showing up right there. Looks like it's, uh, looks like there may have been actually two earthquakes in there. Uh, with the first spike right here and, and the, a second one there shortly thereafter, like a couple minutes later. So we'll keep an eye on it, see exactly if it gets revised. Uh, now it looks as though it just dropped down to a 5.8, but we'll go ahead and check it out, uh, considering this here's... <laughs> wow, okay. So... These guys have it at a 6.0 near uh, Bolivia, which is uh, a little bit further inland. Let's take a look at the uh, USGS map here real quick and see if these folks have it uh, registered yet, which they don't. Sometimes it takes them a little while, right? Uh, in the meantime, let's check out real-time tremor detection, folks. There's a lot of activity, and this is just the last three hours of activity. A major cluster of tremor being detected. Uh, let's go back to the last two days here. We don't even need to go back that far. Let's go back to the last 24 hours and check out the huge cluster up near west of Seattle. Now this is typical. Uh, they do go through phases up there where every few months or so um, it's active like this and there is quite a bit, quite a bit of tremor uh, being picked up uh, around the Cascadia subduction zone up there west of Seattle. A little bit of activity also near Medford in southern Oregon. Uh, but yeah, big cluster of trimmer. Let's go back the last two days just for the heck of it. And you can see just uh, computers starting to freeze up there. There's so many of them. Uh, and they're all centered west of Seattle. Now once again, what does that mean? Well, it's, uh, it's trimmer. It's not earthquake activity, but rather uh, slow slip movement as mentioned before uh, in the Cascadia subduction zone there with the uh, Pacific Plate and the uh, Juan de Fuca, de Fuca Plate there or I mean uh, North American Plate and the Juan de Fuca Plate uh, interacting and of course the Pacific Plate plays a part in that as well uh, just a complex system up there of, uh, of a subduction zone um, I want to see if the USGS has that listed yet. They do not. And that's not it. It's not going to be a 4.8. That's a way older earthquake. Anyway, so for now, uh, there has definitely been a large quake. Uh, I think that it will probably be upgraded from that 6 or that uh, 5.8 that they had here. Well, now it's up to a 6.0. That's right. Okay. Anyway, a lot of bouncing back and forth with the uh, European model. But... Uh, We'll see what the USGS puts this earthquake at. That green flag right there in uh, Bolivia. I guess that's south of the Chile region there. Uh, so yeah, not going to do a complete video update, uh, but I did want to get the word out on that 6.0 earthquake there in Bolivia. Bolivia. Uh, in the meantime, folks, have a good night out there. Play it safe, and uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.